News katika kaunti ya Singisho Aliyekuwa waziri wa fedha Henry Rotich sasa anamlaumu rais mstafu Uhuru Kinyata kwa masaibu yake kwa muda wa zaidi ya miaka minne ambapo kesi ya ufisadi dhidi yake imekuwa mahakamani. Akizungumza kwenye mahojiano na runinga ya KTN News, Rotich anasema kesi yake ilichochewa kisiasa. Kama anavyoarifu mwanahabari wa masuala ya siasa Emmanuel To, waziri huyo wa zamani anashikilia kwamba hakuna fedha zilizofujwa katika miradi ama mradi wa shilingi bilioni tatu wa ujenzi wa mabawa ya maji ya Aror na Kimwarer. Takriban wiki moja baada ya kupata afueni kutoka kwa mahakama baada ya kuachiliwa huru katika kesi ya sakata ya mradi wa shilingi bilioni tatu wa mabawa ya Aror na Kimwarer. Waziri wa zamani wa fedha Henry Rotich amepasua mbarika kuhusu baadhi ya matukio yaliyofuatia kukamatwa na kufunguliwa mashtaka kwake akimwelekezea kidole cha lawama rais mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta. Over time I began to uh, feel that uh, yeah maybe there was some you know a choreographed um, uh, intention here which whether he knew or not it's it's it's, it's, it's up to uh, up to him but the way the turn of events could give me an indication that yes it looks like uh, roti cha nadai haikuwa wazi kwake mwanzo kuhusu kuhusika kwa kenyata katika masaibu yake hadi wakati ambapo masuala haya yalipoendelea kushika kasi the way uh, it was sort of politicized letter uh, give me some indication that perhaps there was uh, extraneous consideration hata hivyo rotich anayeshikilia kuwa ni mweupe kama pamba anadai kwamba hakuna fedha za umma zilizoporwa katika mradi huo na kuwa mradi huo unafaa kufufuliwa kwa manufaa ya wakazi wa Elgeyo Marakwet i want to tell kenyans that uh, I was the cabinet secretary you cannot lose 63 billion what was expended was only the advance payments to the contractor um i think it's about to about 7.7 to 7.5 there about depending on the exchange rate that you use at that particular time a billion of which i think 3.4 was kimware and 4. Point something for for arol akitoa uamuzi wake wiki iliyopita hakimu katika mahakama ya milimani Yunis Nyoto alisema Rotich na wengine wanane waliachiliwa kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa ushahidi wa kutosha akiwalaumu waendesha mashtaka kwa utepetevu Rotich aliandamwa na mashtaka 30 yakiwemo ufisadi kula njama ya kuibia serikali na kadhalika majority of the witnesses there i don't know them they were all from some of KVDA i never met them i have never associated with them i don't know where they live yote tisa waziri huyo sasa anasema ataendelea kusherehekea uhuru wake na kuwa amejifunza mengi katika wakati huo mashtaka yake Emmanuel to KT News Nairobi mtazamaji mahojiano kamili kuhusiana na Henry Rotich baada ya kuachiliwa huru kabisa kwenye makosa ambayo alikuwa yakimkabili basi utayapata mwendo wa saa mbili kamili akiwa na mwanahabari mwenzangu Emmanuel To tunachukua fursa sasa kupumzika kidogo tu mtarejea baada ya mapumziko tuendelee na taarifa zaidi endelea kutazama